Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this, for me, is a very exciting video. I love my cameras, I love my photography, I love my videography, and for a long time I've always wanted a Lomography camera. And also for a long time I've been watching various projects launch on Kickstarter. Never really backed any because I was always worried were they going to deliver the product. But then Lomography actually launched their Lomo Instant campaign on Kickstarter and I thought hey this is a big company they will definitely deliver the product so I backed it and I have my limited edition Lomo Instant camera beautifully boxed with some bonus items as well got a really nice camera strap here to go with the camera matches the minty sort of color the minty green color looks really cool very pleased that I got that bonus item the box is awesome look at how this is presented look we look around the box we've got sort of photos all the way around the box, various stories, uh, information about the camera. If we turn the box upside down very carefully, you can also see some extra information about the camera. Now, this is a Lomography camera, uses uh, close-up lenses or different fisheye lens attachments, and it uses Instax film, Fuji Instax film. So when you take the photo, you get the photo printed out of the camera Runs off with four AAA batteries as well. Let's get this unboxed and see what we've got inside. So, we remove this top section, and you can see here the camera presented in the top section. Really, very nice. We're going to sort of remove that very carefully, and we just pop that to one side. And we have a closer look at that in a short while. Oh, I thought it was going to fall over there. There we go. So, we pop that to the side. Phew! <laughs> and now we move on to what else is inside the box. Well, we've got three lenses here, and we just take this one out. This is a uh, portrait lens attachment, obviously attaches to the front here. 35 millimeter equivalent on this portrait lens. That looks really nice. We pop that down to one side. We'll have a closer look at all of these bits in a short while. We've also got a close up lens attachment, uh, 10 to 15 centimeters. So that's really cool. And then we've also got, last but not least, a fisheye lens attachment, which is stuck in a piece of cardboard. We'll remove that later. And this is a 170 degree field of view on this particular attachment. Really looking good. Love all those extra lenses. So I'm looking forward to testing all of those. Actually, it looks like all of them have got these plastic uh, sort of back covers for each lens. They've just got stuck in the packaging see if we can get that one out so this one for example when the lens is not in use uh, let's just put that over there so when this lens isn't in use we can at least put the back lens cap on same applies to this middle one tight packaging there we go so we can actually protect the backs of the lenses when they're not being used very very cool well thought out so let's remove this top part of the packaging and have a look underneath. We've got something inside here. I wonder what this is. Oh, here we go, opens this way. Ah, oh, these are the front lens caps. So again, when these lenses aren't in use, we can protect the optics, wrong one. That's that one there. And we've got a nice neat little package. And then this one goes on here. And then this one goes on here. So they've really thought of everything. We've got lens covers as well. Nicely presented as well, really cool. Pleased so far with my investment. And then what have we got here? We have got some instructions for use for the lens kits. This is gonna show you how to use all of the different lens attachments. This isn't instructions for the camera, this is instructions for these extra lenses. Really nice. More inside the box, so let's lift this up. Love the way this is presented. So we've got some little extra boxes here. We'll look at those next. And then we've got the actual instructions for using the camera. So this is gonna guide us through everything we need to know to actually use the camera itself. A little bit of packaging. And then we've got two little boxes here. So this one here has got, oh, what's this? Something there, introducing Lomo Instant. Oh, this is creative flash modes. So I'm not sure how these work, but it looks like these are little gels. 
I wondered what these packets were because one actually fell out of the box when I unpacked it from the shipping container. These actually go over the flash and they're like little mini flash gels for extra creativity. Very cool. And then we've got another lens cap, which I assume is to go on the front of there. Nice, like it so far. So far so good. And then we've got one extra pack. This actually feels like a pack of photos. Yes, it is. So this is a little pack of photos, very cool. So this just gives you an idea of the creativity that you can do with the Lomo Instant. Very nice. Now of note, inside this box, which we will now pop to one side, we have got no um, film. So I've got no Fuji Instax film, which is a little bit of a shame, and no batteries. You have to supply your own. So let's pop all of these extra bits out of the way and we'll take a closer look at the actual camera. And here it is. Very, very nice indeed. Now I went for this particular one. There was a choice, but I went for this particular color purely because it had, I'm gonna wait for you to guess, orange on it. Yep, there is orange on the camera and that is why I chose this one. So we've got the flash. We've got some exposure compensation on this dial here. We've got a little mirror for taking selfies. How cool is that? We have got the viewfinder here, which is obviously the front of the viewfinder. We have got a lever here, which enables us to change the focal point. So we can change it from uh, infinity, one meter to infinity or 0.4 to 0.9 meters. And as we push this, the front comes out like so. Very, very cool. Round on the bottom here, we've got room for a shoulder strap. We've also got some instructions printed on the bottom for the various settings here. We've got uh, what looks like, a, what's this? This is some sort of shutter control here. We've also got some flash modes here as well. Very nice. Round on this side, this is where your photos will exit the camera when they're printed. Across the top, we have got this, which is another place for attaching at that, stra that uh, shoulder strap. Now we've got a little threaded mount here for attaching accessories. I'm assuming this is the shutter and this is the um, exposure compensation that I showed you a short while ago. Around on this side, we've got another threaded mount here for attaching to a tripod. And then if we look around the back, this is where we're gonna open up to put the film, the Fuji Instax film goes in there. And then we've also got a sort of count here for how many photos we've taken and then the battery compartment is here. The battery compartment, very, very stiff to open, but this is where the four AAA batteries go in. I would have thought they could have supplied one uh, pack of film and one pack of batteries just to get you up and running. And then we've got this uh, material, I'm not sure if it is leather, let's do the sniff test. No, it's not leather, this is just like a, a fake sort of leather with a nice grain to it. And this is embedded and stuck on various portions of the body. Really nice, looking good. The same with this, this has got texture to it as well. And that is it, that is the Lomo Instant. Very, very cool. Super excited to get my hands on this. I will share with you in a future video some of the photos that I've taken. So that's it for this video. If you've liked it, hit that like button. Please do subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one.